This is a great example of seven actually practical 3D prints that I use on my balcony. Starting off, we have Threadboards, my most popular STL, and this specific one is an upcoming version, which is Threadboards Garden. If you don't know what Threadboards is already, it's a 3D printable pegboard that uses these threaded screws. The threads are specifically designed for 3D printing and screw in easily. So basically, you print out a bunch of boards and you can attach them together to make as big of a threadboard as you want. And this specific one has these planter container attachments that have holes in the bottom so the excess water drips into the container below. Next, we have 3D printed sieves that all stack and also easily attach to the threadboards with this special hook connector. For gardening, I use these to sift the soil to get finer soil for starting seedlings. You can see the mesh has different sizes, so basically you start with the big one and go down to the smallest uh, size holes. And then when you want to store them, you just stack them like so, and then they hang back up on threadboards. And next we have a 3D printable shovel. Now the cool thing about this shovel is it just prints flat on your build plate in an orientation that makes it stronger. So when you're 3D printing things, they are weakest along the layer lines. So because it's printed horizontal, like so, it means it's generally fairly strong. Of course, this is used for planting small plants in raised garden beds like this. Now here's one you might not expect unless you saw my last video on wall anchors, but this is a 3D printable uh, wall anchor for masonry walls. So here are the two different anchors that I've designed. This one here is for drywall and it has two wings that kind of expand when you tighten the screw. And this one is for masonry or concrete. And basically when you screw it in, the plastic kind of gets jammed in the hole. And so far it's held very strong. So how it works is you'll use a masonry uh, drill bit with a hammer or impact drill and you drill a quarter inch sized uh, hole in the wall and you jam the plastic piece in and then you screw it tight and it should work. All right, next I have one of my favorite ones. It's a mount for my weed whacker. So basically I have this uh, standard rack that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's and this uh, mounting piece attaches onto it and I can just hang my weed whacker like so. Basically just keeps it off the floor and it just hangs there and it's really easy to grab when I need it. And here we have another practical print. These are seedling trays. Fairly self-explanatory, but the cool thing about these is in addition to having tiny little feet to help it drain better, it also has these really large holes on the bottom. So uh, when you're trying to uh, get the plants out, you just use your uh, finger and you can push the plants out and they also stack. Next, we have a planter stand or a pot stand. And the cool thing about this is, uh, in addition to just being a, uh, a mid-century modern design, the legs actually just unscrew. This way you could change the height of the legs really easily. And the last of the practical prints on my balcony slash patio is this custom uh, 3D printed watering can. And this is actually the second to last version of this watering can, but it still works great. I just modified the handle later. And yes, it's definitely waterproof. I'm used to use enough walls and just have the right slicer settings, which is not hard. Uh, I think default actually might be okay or just increase the number of walls. And you can see I'm watering my uh, Threadboards garden uh, containers. And once again, the holes on the bottom of those containers drain out to the plants below. So any excess water uh, goes down to the plants below it. So there you have seven actually practical prints and I have these on my patio and I really think these are really great uh, practical prints if I do say so myself. And I'm also, of course, impressed with this little uh, hook thing that I uh, created as well. But there you have it, seven practical prints that are actually practical and I think look great as well.